Right now, we are going to go over the infamous wall plank transition. You've probably never seen this one again before. It's more of a rare kind of motion. It's a really, really dynamic shoulder uh, taxing kind of movement. It's strange how hard this is going to hit you. So we're going to go over scaling first, right? The higher our hands are on the wall, the easier it will be. The lower your hands are on the wall, the more challenging it is going to be. And these are going to be done in sets alternating from right, right to left, left. So we're not going to step up with the same hand every single time. So notice Nick's going to start off in a push-up position, a little bit of a distance away from the wall. All of our rules for our push-ups are in place. He's got a hollow hold, hips and ribs being pulled in together, closing the distance in the stomach. His fingertips are forward, his elbows are facing back. From here, he's going to transition one hand up to the wall, the other hand up to the wall, and hold himself in that position. Then bring himself back down. The opposite hand then comes up onto the wall, and the opposite hand comes back down, then boom. And these are our wall plank transitions. Like I said, if you come up higher on the wall, it's going to be an easier movement for you because gravity is working with you. As you get lower on the wall, if you have a nice brick wall like this, using the lines as your markers, uh, makes it much more challenging to get down to those lower three or two bricks at the bottom. Way more challenging, a lot more core dynamic work, a lot more shoulder stabilization there. So give it a try, find the height that works for you, and enjoy.